90.7 The Music FM, that was Three Doors Down with Let Me Go. And let's talk about basketball now. The Cleveland Cavaliers look a whole lot different. They traded, they made some trades with the Lakers, the Kings, Utah Jazz, the Heat. They turned over six of their 15 players. Only four players are left from their 2016 championship team. James, Love, Tristan Thomas, and J.R. Smith. They traded away Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Derek Rose, Dwayne Wade. They added 25-year-old Ronnie Hood, Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr. And they've really loaded up. And they just they crushed the Boston Celtics by a score of 121-99. And they're once again the class of the Eastern Conference. The question is... Um, can they beat the Golden State Warriors or the Houston Rockets to claim their second NBA title in three years? I absolutely love this move for Cleveland. I mean, they, they got, they're probably getting ready for another LeBron apocalypse, so they got to load up for the future. They got younger. Um, they got better. I mean, last time LeBron James left, he left in a big pile. How would Cleveland fans react to another LeBron if LeBron left again? On one hand, it would be better than the last time. For one, he finally got them the championship they desired. Uh, the last time. And two, the last time he left, the Cavaliers were a mess. So will Cleveland fans be as angry as they were the last time? I mean, last time the Cavaliers, they le le he left them a mess. And the Cavaliers were terrible in the three years that LeBron was gone. And they didn't have a championship. But I guess one thing, as a as Buffalo fans, many, I heard many Buffalo fans say, if the Bills or Sabres could just win once. Yet I see New England fans, who's and Boston fans at the Super Bowl, their reaction, they won over and over and over again, and yet they're always glum, they're always bummed out. I guess when Buffalo fans are starving for that first championship for either the Bills or the Sabres. But well, I think when they win the, that, we'll be starving for our just as, for our second one. But back to Cleveland, I just don't know how the fan base is going to react to another LeBron apocalypse. But they are loaded this year. They should be. They should easily win the East. The way they proved that they're way better than Boston. They're probably way better than Toronto. The question is, can they get, can they get past Houston and can they get past Golden State? Boston had a, the Celtics had a pretty loaded roster, but they're still they're not in the same class as the Cavaliers. We talk about Boston sports and the and the ridiculous success they've had in the last fifteen years. How they've pretty much won a championship pretty much every other year throughout the entire century. Five Super Bowls for the Patriots, three World Series titles for the Red Sox. An NBA title for the Celtics, a Stanley Cup title for the Bruins. That's a total of 10 in 15 years. Pretty unprecedented run in sports. And then I'm going to say to myself, which Boston team is going to win it next? For the last couple of years, for about a year ago when the Celtics made the trade for Isaiah Tom for Kevin Love, I thought, oh man... Of the three boss, of the four Boston teams, if I was a Boston sports fan, the one I feel least good about is the Bruins. I would be feeling least good about is the Bruins. The um, the Red Sox had a pretty good team. They have some nice young talent going through the system. The Celtics, after they made that kind of love trade, established itself as a force in the Eastern Conference. And the Patriots, as long as they have Brady and Belichick, they'll continue to win championships. I thought the Boston Bruins were the only team that's pretty mediocre. But now the Boston now I think the Boston Bruins are the team that's most likely to win the championship. They have been on a tear. They had like an they had like an eighteen and two run. Um if they could add like a pet apparently rumors have, they could be added in Patrick Maroon. They could be actor and added Rick Nash. <clears throat> Is he worth it? Ryan would done it. I mean, 
They, they, they could, the, I think the Bruins are the top contenders to win the Stanley Cup. The Red Sox are good, but they got to compete with a stacked Yankee team. The Celtics are good, but they got to compete with a stacked Cavaliers team. And if they can somehow get past that, they got to compete with either Gold State or Houston. The Patriots, well, they're, they're probably the second, I mean, as long as they have Brady and Belichick. But how much longer will they have Brady and Belichick play at the level they are? Sooner, Tom Brady's 40. Sooner or later, he's going to regress. Bill Belichick's going to be down. So the Boston Bruins went from the team least likely to win the championship in Boston to the team that's most likely to win the championship in Boston. So what are your thoughts? Oh, now we're talking about Boston sports. Let's come back home. The Bills, the Sabres. Who is closer to a championship? For the last two years, it's it was, it, everyone was like, it's easily the Sabres. We have Jack Eichel. The Bills don't have a quarterback. Well, the Bills made the playoffs before the Sabres did. The Bills, despite having an average quarterback, made the playoffs. The Sabres, who have Jack Eichel, who is supposed to be hockey's big superstar, and well, he is hockey's big. He is going to be hockey's big superstar. He is the one reason that the Sabres fans are really interested. When a Sabres player is struggling, Housley puts them on Eichel's line, and boom, the goal production goes up. But of course, Eichel is going to be out for the rest of the year with an ankle injury. So that's pretty much the that pretty much kills that momentum. So. Which, that's the question. Which Buffalo team is closer to a championship? I guess the, on paper, it's the Bills. The Bills with the playoffs, the Sabres in last place. But I am fully expecting the Sabres to make that turnaround next year. Like what Toronto and Edmonton led did last year and what Colorado did this year, is doing this year. And the Bills, they got to start over at quarterback. Tyrod Taylor, if they keep Tyrod Taylor, they're going to be a, at best, a borderline playoff team. Tyrod Taylor got them to seven, eight, nine wins. He has more success than the last couple of quarterback, 17 years of Bills quarterbacks, but he's just not the answer. It's time to move on. I mean, they, this is why the decision this offseason is huge for the Bills. Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Josh Rosen. Sam Darnold, who is the Bills? Who should be the Bills' next big quarterback? And who is closer to a championship, the Bills or the Sabers? Hit me on Twitter at JRed Show. We got ten minutes left, so if you have requests, hit me on Twitter at JRed Show. And come up next is Twelve Stones with photographs. So keep up to nine point seven, the Music FM.